Here's how I make my velocities in After Effects without the Twixter plugin. Okay, so the first thing I do after I've imported my clip is usually stretch my clip's time. So what you're gonna do is right click on your clip and go to time. And then you'll see here there's the time stretch, so click on that. Uh, in the stretch factor, you can put over like 150 or 200. I put 200, but like at this point you can put whatever amount you want. Okay, so after that, what you're gonna do is enable the frame blending and the motion blur because that is what makes your uh, clip get smoother. Like, let me just show you the difference. This is without, and this is with the frame blending and the motion blur. So you can see the difference. So now we're gonna pre-compose our clip. So right click on your clip and click on pre-compose. You can change your composition name. I just leave it like that. And then you can press okay. Okay, so now that that is done, we can actually start our velocity process. So, don't forget to enable your motion blur, and then go to the effects and preset tab, and search up time warp. Then add that to your clip. Now you can go to the time warp speed, and change that to 200. And don't forget to keyframe it at the beginning of your clip. Then go down, and you can see this arrow right here, just click on that, and also the one from the time warp so that you can see like the your keyframes. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm not using any audios, but if you are using an audio, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag your timeline to where your beat is, and you're gonna click on this little thing here to add a keyframe, and then you're gonna do that until you reach the end of your clip. After you're done with that, you're gonna do the same thing, but with the slower part of your velocity. So take your timeline and put it in between your keyframes. Then change the speed to 50. So for the slower part of my velocities, I usually just like control C to copy and control V to paste. I don't know why I do that, but like I always do that for the slower part. So just repeat that process and yeah. Okay, so this is the last step before the final results. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight your keyframes and then right click on them go to keyframe assistant and then click on easy ease. Then you're gonna go to the graph editor, highlight all of this up here, and then pull down the yellow lines. Like this, you can copy what I do, just like this. Then go back to where you were and you're done.